This is a quick video over finding the real interest rate for some amount of money. So let's start off with a very simple example. Let's say we have $100. Now we want to find out what this $100 uh, will be in two years. Two years. So how do we find that? Well, we take the $100, we multiply it by 1 plus i to the power of 2. Whoops. Power of 2. So what is that equal to? Well, that is equal to 1 times 1.05, or sorry, i, which is 10, so 1.1 to the power of 2. So that gives us $121. So this is equal to $121. Now, over those two years, two year over that two year period of time, we had inflation or inflation occurring. So now we need to take account for inflation. Inflation. So how do we take account for inflation? Well, remember, inflation is just kind of like an interest rate. It I mean it it is pretty much an interest rate, just a very bad negative one, but it's 5% that we're losing every year. So to find out what it's actually worth in the initial year dollars, because we want to find out what it was worth in these dollars, these dollars, the hundred, the original hundred dollars, because remember, over time, the dollar loses money. So as time goes by, the dollar goes down. So... Remember, the value of dollar goes down over time for the most part. So we'll take account of this inflation. So what we do is we have the $121, and what we do is we multiply it by 1 plus the inflation rate to the power of the number of years it went over, and it was over 2 years, right? So 2 years right there. So that's a negative 2. So now let's plug that in. So we have 121 times 1 0.05 to the power of a negative 2. A negative 2. And that is equal to $109.75. So that is equal to $109.75. So now, what was the actual interest rate we earned? when we take into account for inflation. That was the market interest rate. We need to find the real interest rate. How much did we really gain in value? Well, we had the $100, and over two years, it went to $109.75. So to find out what this is, we take, uh, we solve for I, remember? So it's $100 times one plus I, which we don't know, and it's actually I prime to the power of 2 will give us $109.75. So we'll divide this side by 100, divide that side by 100, and then we'll take the negative square, or the square root of both sides. So to the power of 0 0.5, or sorry, not 0 0.5, or yes, to the power of 0 0.5 to both sides. So then what we get is um, 1 plus i is equal to 109.75 divided by 100. That's equal to 109.957. Now we're going to take that to the power of 0 0.05. So to the power of 0.5. And that is equal to 1.476. So 1.0476. So now we want to subtract 1 from both sides. Subtract 1. Whoops. Subtract 1 from both sides. Minus 1. So what we get is i is equal to 0.0476%. Or 4.76%. So that is the keep forgetting to put I prime or the real interest rate, the real amount of interest we gained over those two years was only 4.76%, not the initial 10 that we thought we were getting because there was such a high inflation rate. So if you wanted to actually test yourself to make sure that the uh, that you got the right answer, all you have to do is say, okay, so the market interest rate, I, is equal to 
the real interest rate plus the inflation rate plus the real interest rate times the inflation rate. And that will give us the market interest rate if we do it correctly. So we have 0 0.0476 plus the inflation rate 0 0.07 or 0 0.05 plus uh, so yep plus 0 0.00476 times 0 0.005 and that gives us 0 0.9998. So that gives us 0 0.099 Eight, which is approximately 10%. So this is a neat little equation to find out the, uh, the market interest rate, if you know the real interest rate and the inflation rate. This part right here isn't a major component, but you do need it if you're wanting to do something very, if you're wanting to get something very precise. Because remember, I mean, the market interest rate plus inflation will basically or I'm sorry, the real interest rate plus inflation will basically give you the market interest rate. This is usually very small. This part is very, very small. So anyway, that is how you calculate the real interest rate.